This is live, so hello everybody. Um, I'm Sonia, and I have Robert Hornbeck here with me from Uncharted Interactive. And soon we'll probably have Alan uh, Passman, hopefully soon. Um, we're going to uh, discuss Minecraft and our experiences. I have a few questions we're going to go through, and then I'll open it up to everybody else um, so they can come up with whatever questions they want, and we can discuss those. Um, if you didn't know what Minecraft is, it's um, a game where you can pretty much uh, take any blocks. You can build whatever you want. You can mine for materials. You can fight monsters at night, and you can also do multiplayer on, multipl on a multiplayer server with your friends. You, know, you can build things with your friends or kill your friends. So um, that's pretty I much what Minecraft is. I can confirm that it's that it's uh, broadcasting. Cause a little window popped up. Oh, good! Um, yay! I wasn't sure if you could see that. Oh uh, no, I do not see it. I, that's weird because I'm the one hosting it, but I don't see it. Uh, it's just it's on the main feed. But please proceed. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, so if you want to play Minecraft, you can go to uh, Minecraft.net, and they have a demo there that you can play, um, or you can get an account. It's like a one-time fee, and you can play as much as you want. You can start your own servers. It's pretty cool. So I would check that out. And there's also a, a wiki too for to show you how to make things like beds and and pickaxes and stuff like that. Okay, so uh, we're waiting on Alan. <laughs> I don't see him yet. I do not. He's online, and I was just talking to him. I'm not sure where he is. Yeah, he needs to get on G Plus if he's gonna do it. I sent him another message on Skype to see what's up. Okay, well, I guess I'll just start with you, um, and then he can chime in when he gets here. Um, so I'll ask you, Robert. It'll be kind of like an interview. Uh, what was your first impression of Minecraft when you first started playing? Um, I, I had played Minecraft a little while back. I had friends who had told me about it, and I was a little uh, apprehensive. But um, when I started playing it, I, I got caught up in it like most people do. They just they get they just get addicted to the routine. The um, <laughs> and and uh, but I I enjoyed it. I really did enjoy it. Um, and uh, it was just generally fun. Uh, it was you know pretty straightforward fun. Okay. Um, I have my complaints, but I think that comes later. Yeah. Well, yeah, I kind of, I felt the same way. I remember your um, brother, Steve, actually showed it to me, and he told me to go play the demo. And the demo doesn't have a lot on it, so um, there's not, like, monsters or anything. But um, when I first started playing it and I saw the graphics and the blockiness, and I looked at myself, I'm like, I'm like this blocky person. This is weird. Um, I, I didn't get it, and I had no idea what I was doing. I was uh, really confused as to what my objective was in the game. I was just like randomly like punching blocks and he's like, that's what you do. You punch blocks and you build things. And I'm like, okay. Yeah. So I, I left it for a you while. Pretty much do. Yeah, I left it for a while. I wasn't really completely interested in it, but um, uh, other I, I started watching him play it and other people play it and I started seeing like the things that were building and that was more exciting to me because I like building things and there was also quite a bit of grinding and digging, and I get really addicted to doing silly things like that. So I started to play it, and um, um, Sunny, her friend, got me an account and for as a present, so that was it, and then I was addicted. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alan is also telling me that he does not see the invite. Let me invite him again, then. Uh... Uh, and he's also saying that Joanna might not be able to speak because her mic is not working. Oh. Let me see. Mm, it says invite others to this hangout. Inviting. Okay, I sent it again. Okay. Um, and... Can, are they together in the same room? Uh, I don't... Uh, Possibly. Maybe they can... Um, also, 
uh, I would suggest opening up your chat box in Google Plus so we can... Oh, uh, chat one. Okay. Send uh, messages just in case. Yay! Hello. <laughs> I see you. Really dark. dark. I see the boot. <laughs> that's okay. If you, if you want to it to be like that, the problem. There you go. He's like a sh shadowy <laughs> figure. I try, I try. <laughs> yeah, uh, Joanna's setting up her laptop, so she might come on, but we have no idea if her mic or video works at all. So she might just be chatting, I don't know. Okay, um, I will invite her real quick, just anyways, and she'll see it. It took me a second. Normally, the, the invites show up on my front page or on people's pages, but then Robert kept saying it's in your, uh, what's that called, the... Action list or something, and then I finally found it. Oh, okay. I was an idiot. Hey, Robert, can you invite her? Uh, to the hangout? Yeah. yeah. Mm. I'm having trouble finding her on here. No, I cannot. That's let me it. let me see if I can. Uh, no, that's not it. Um. Hmm. That's not it either. Um. Well, I'm telling her to get on the Google Plus right now, so hopefully we can figure it out. You do have her on Google Plus, Sonia? Yeah, yeah, I do. I just can't. Uh, if you give a moment, Alan, open up your chat in the Google Hangout. Oh, good. This works a whole lot. Google Chat works a whole lot better at my house than it does at my other house. So. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to uh, invite her. Uh, Alan, I already asked uh, Robert uh, what, what his first impression of Minecraft was when he first started playing. Um, what was your first impression of Minecraft when you first started playing? Wait, wait, can I joke about it or seriously? No, you can do whatever you, whatever you like. I mean, when I first saw it, I joke, so... It was highly complicated now. I, I thought it was cool. It was a little weird at first because it's so simple. But uh, as soon as um, I actually played around with it, especially when I set up the, uh, my own uh, server, then I got a whole lot of fun because it's like you get to run around with two people and just either be vindictive or explore stuff. So. Hmm. Yeah, I, it's, funny it's funny that you said you got a better experience out of the multiplayer part. I actually uh, felt um, much differently, or the opposite. Oh, you didn't like the multiplayer side of it? Uh, I didn't uh, mind it. I, I just I felt like it was... Um, uh, everyone had their own plan, and it... They either overlapped in uncomfortable ways, or it was like one person wanted to be the leader. I mean, not when, when we played, it was fine because we were just kind of casually romping around. But when I had played previously, uh, the experience with other people was that you know they wanted to do one thing, you know other people wanted to do another, and before you knew it, we were all pretty much playing by ourselves, <laughs> in a, in a, even though we were all sharing things over. But I wasn't a bad guy. This wasn't as good as the single. It's um. Do you know the oh, what's the guy? Um, uh, do you know Freddie Wong? He's a, a YouTube guy. Yeah. You yeah. see, you seen that they play Minecraft uh, games? Um, I'm not surprised, but sure. Oh, what about it? They have four uh, episodes online where they play a multiplayer Minecraft game, where they um they all they do the same thing. They get all on the server and they play. And it's uh, the way they play, it's also they each kind of designate what they do and that's what they do. Um, and that's kind of how like Joanna and I play the game, which is we log on and my brother logs on and we just do whatever we want to do. We're not always together with one yeah, leader. Yeah. We just sometimes say, oh, we like this idea. And it's like, oh, I'll follow you and I'll do this. Or you need some of this stuff, I'll go grab this stuff. So I don't know what group you played with, but I've never played with one where there was one guy who was the leader, and I must do what he says, because I'll never do that. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, nah, I'll just wander that direction. And, like, I'll down a giant tree for no apparent reason. 
Very cool. Any luck, Sonia, finding Joanna? You know, I can't find her on here. I put her name in, and it's not really coming up. Hmm. Oh, one second. I see her on my list, but it appears that she's online. Hmm. It's just not really working for me. I don't know. And you do have her? Yeah, I do. Hmm. How do you add someone to the Google Hangout? Um, well, if you're the... Uh, I'm the host. The host, yeah. Usually you have a button at the top, but we are not hosting. Or Sonya's only host, so... Yeah, I'm the only host who's not coming up. And um, you know what, actually? I don't I don't think I have her. I'm hosting from um, Uncharted Interactive. And I don't have her on Uncharted Interactive. I think that's the problem. Do you need to... If you um, are in Google Chat or Google Plus, do you just can you add her to your chat list and then she will appear? Or um, I don't know. My answer is I from Google. Maybe she needs to uh, like. Yeah, like it. If she likes it, then. I could I find her, I'm sure. sure. Maybe. Um, Anyways, um, I guess, I guess while we're trying to do that, I will ask another question. Um, what was, what is your favorite thing to do in a single player mode? Oh, uh, I haven't played single player mode in forever. Um, Single. I like I like exploring, which is just running around and finding stuff, finding caves, finding like I find materials and stuff. But then if I'm playing by myself, I usually explore and try to find a cave. But that's because I play multiplayer, so I find caves so I can tell Joanna or tell my brother later, going, "I found this crazy thing here. Come mm -hmm. blow it up with me or something." <laughs> yeah, yeah, my my, my, my favorite, favorite is definitely my favorite, favorite, favorite thing to do. Um, is definitely uh, exploring because it, I don't know, the, the way they did the procedural generation of the world um, is, it can just be really stunning, you know, even though everything's made out of blocks, I can enter rooms and find valleys and stuff that just kind of, you know, they just kind of blow my mind and, uh, you know, it's really fun to explore. Um, and, I mean, mostly when I played, I had kind of a base of operations, but it was really just to kind of store things to help support my exploration. But otherwise, you know, if I could be out digging holes and finding new crazy things, uh, scenery, I'd, I'd be doing that the whole time. Yeah, I kind of, I like exploring too. Um, I... I like to try to go as deep as I can into a cave and and hopefully not run into something scary, although I usually do. Um, I also like just building just random things. Like I had in one world where I built a giant lava tube just because I could. Um, and what and, is a lava tube? I've heard you mention that, but I'm not oh, sure what that is. Uh, basically, I took a bunch of glass so that I could see the light through it and I filled it with lava and I put it all the way up to my ceiling like up into um, out of my house so that it was kind of like oh, like a skylight sort of well you, if you went down the roof you could see the lava inside so it's just a, a it's like a, a giant light tube basically that's really all with it lava in the middle producing like lava. lava and it's, yeah. a, it's a hard thing to build though because I fell in it like five times probably <laughs> and lost all my stuff. So, I mean, building, like, weird things is fun for me, and exploring is fun. Um, just things like that. I, I really liked finding, like, new terrains. Like, recently when I was doing um, my single-player uh, video that I have up on G+, I, I got, went into the jungle, and I had an actual experience jungle terrain before, mm -hmm. so that was really cool. Yeah, I had never seen that myself either. 
Very cool. I am still not having any luck getting a Joanna on here. Is is she at the same place as you as Alan? Could she just sit in the room with you? Uh, I can't hear Alan. Can you? No, I can't. You mute. It says you muted. I muted him. Yeah. I just checked to see if I had him muted. Oh. Oh, I guess I didn't unmute. No. It just keeps saying I muted him. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Oh no. Technical difficulty. Why why would I have control to completely mute him? I didn't touch anything as far as uh <laughs> muting. Alan says thanks for censoring me. Oh no. It's all that, it's all that bad language. Well great. Let's On mine see. it's not muted. Um Oh, you can hear him just fine? No, I can't. I don't know how that works. The, <laughs> let's see. Mute. Every time I click the mute button, Oops. which That's not what I, want to do. I okay. figured would unmute him, it just mutes him. Huh. When I try to unmute me, it says Robert mute. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, That's a little funky. That is very weird. She can oh. very very weird. Um, because um, normally when you mute someone and you click the same button, it unmutes them. Uh, she can see me muted too. Oh. But I see your bar moving, and I can hear you. So Joanna says she can see me muted, too. Okay. Uh, says Alan. She's watching her. Oh, right. she's watching the live broadcast, and he's muted. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, I hope it hasn't been the whole time. No, 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 it hasn't. I, it was, I was hearing feedback uh, off of his computer. Okay. And I thought, okay, I'll just mute it on mine until... He says something, and I'll turn it on because it did, wasn't a problem when he talked. And then I guess now. He, oh wait! Oh, there we go. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. Yay! What happened? Feedback, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Oh man. <laughs> Sorry, Sonia. <laughs> is that why? Is that why when nope. uh, Felicia Day does her thing, she puts headphones in? Okay, yeah. I think that's why people do headphones when they oh, okay. do it. Right I was wondering why they were doing that. I didn't really get it. Yeah, I don't know. I've never had good luck with this stuff. I always get feedback or noise back when I tried it with Joanna. Our fans would like squeal for no apparent reason. Yeah. yeah. Well, we'll just have to yell at Sunny. Okay. Yeah, you can fix it. <laughs> Sunny, fix it. Go to Google and fix it. But uh, Joanna right, um, says she's watching our live broadcast, but and she, I, she added you to her circle or something. So let me see if I can get her in there then. Mm -hmm. uh, the growing pains of episode one. I know. Yeah. Uh, oh come on, pop up! It just it like when I when I go searching for a person, it she doesn't come up. It's Joanna Johnson. Yeah. Can you make any one of us like a administrator or higher power so we can invite? Let me see. I'm trying to get out of the search here. It's actually really hard to get out of the uh, the search window. It's because oh. you're using a Mac. No. <laughs> oh, that, 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 made, that would make perfect sense. <laughs> well, it's because it's user friendly. Hey, well, Minecraft uh, is on Mac, so that's okay. Um, let me see. I don't. I was about to say my Minecraft server is run on the Mac behind me. I can. No. Add <laughs> app. There's an add app button. No. No. Um. Yeah. I'm not sure what to do here. I have an idea. Okay. I'm going to see if I can figure it out. Okay. <laughs> Robert's going to come over here and figure it out. Oh, is he right next door or something? Yeah. <laughs> He's right here. 
I'm in the other room. Hey, this is our over and over here trying to figure it out. Um, See, I went here to invite. So right? you went up to invite. And so click on that. I had her name pasted even. And see, she doesn't come up. There's all these other Joannas. Oh. Probably. And are these, is this a list of? I don't know what, what this is a list of, really. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't Do you know. Want, if you guys can wait like 10 minutes, I can go pick her up and then bring her here if that works better. Um. Uh, I, that sounds like it would probably just yeah. be more complicated than we need it. Um, I mean, that's, that's Sonia's call and your guys' call, obviously. Um, how about, uh, this might be kind of weird, but what if she were to just text her, an oh, it'll take her a long time, to text her answer to the question. Um, and oh, then can, can you, on the account you're in right now, can you send her a Google chat? Uh, yeah, just try talking to her. Yeah. Um, okay. So, what should I do? Just ask her the questions? No. no, no. Oh, I think send her. Send her at least a hi first, so she knows that you guys are talking together. Just say hi. Yeah. yeah just, just say hi, just so the connection. Okay. Oh. Oops. <laughs> no, I mean. Not... Uh, yeah. Send her a personal message oh. through G plus. And see if it actually um, registered. How do I do it personally? Bottom right uh, in in G plus, there's a little chat thing. Open it up, and her name should be in there. Bottom right. Maybe. Mm. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is really bad. I like the anticipation, Robert, as he flies back, push himself forward. Oh, Real animation. Right here. Okay. You know, oh. I I have her on my own thing. Uh, she's right here. Yeah. I wonder if I can. Oh, if I can. What'd you just do there? I was clicking on the zero. Um. Yeah, and to followers. Followers. And you know, we'll probably just click out of that. Okay, and then maybe this will work now. Where are we? We're over here. Mm -hmm. And let me see now if I can um, followers. Yeah, try that. That might not. I don't know how many yeah. people. Well, it's only one person right now. But we'll find out. We'll see what happens. I put her in followers and I invited her. I don't know if she'll get it. It's also uh, it's also possible that because she wasn't added before you started this, it's not gonna it's not gonna register her as uh, accessible or something like that. I would think you could do it in the you think if she so. got an invite. Yeah. I should just be able to hop in and out of these chats. Yeah. Well, it's almost like, like on Skype I've had this issue before where I had a conversation already going and then mm -hmm. I added someone to my like friends list. And um even though I had them on my friends list, I couldn't add them to the call because the call had already been connected based off of the people who was in her, who were in my list previously. So I had to close the call and then reopen it so that it would kind of reset. Uh, I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Um. I mean. Oh. 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 Is she there? I'm yep. Just saying. I see Yay. Out window. Okay. And like I said, I think she might have mic or camera issues, so she might just be typing. Oh, we got a blank white square. Yay! <laughs> well, yeah. we have our fourth person, even though I can't see her. Oh, are you coming over, Robert? No, I was just closing my door. Oh, okay. Do, All right. Do you, wanna, well, if you can hear us on the left 
top side. There you go. She's typing. There <laughs> she is. Smiling face. I'm so excited now. Well, uh, too bad we couldn't, like, uh, do text-to-speech, you know, yeah. whenever she types. I'd give, I'd give her a robot voice. <laughs> you know what? I can hear her typing vigorously. Yeah. Yeah, is that typing? I think so. I just can't see her. No. Oh, that or no. it's someone else typing. Well, there it, it indicates that there's audio coming through, but... Anyways, we will proceed and see what we can do. Okay, we will proceed. Um, maybe I can get a response um, from Joanna. Um, Joanna, what was your first impression of Minecraft when you uh, first started playing? Maybe I can read what she says with my mouth off the screen. That's what I was saying before. That what we should do is we should have, like read it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay, you do it, Robert. Typing, typing. That's okay. The resolution was horrible, and I didn't know what to do at first. Once I knew how the world worked, I found things to do and explore and play with. Very interesting. <laughs> yes. Could you hear her? I, I, I like to hear her fairly well, but could you hear her? Yes, I could. I could hear her. Great accent. Mm. So, yeah, I, I think a lot of people have an issue with the resolution. Um, well, assuming she's just referring to the general visual style, but yeah, I mean, I think a lot of people have trouble with the blockiness and the resolution. They just think, you know, why should I play a game that looks just so um, poorly made, even though it's pretty thoughtful as far as I'm concerned. The actual style is, is pretty thoughtful, um, even though it is it appears cheap. Mm. I mean, I, I like I said before, I felt the same way when I first started. I really, I, I didn't know what to do, and um, I wasn't quite so sure about playing it because of the graphics and the resolution. Um, but it's kind of cool that there's so much world to explore. I think that's the part that kept me going. Yeah, I agree too. Okay, so I'm gonna um, move on to uh, the next question. Have any of you ever used creative mode? Um, and if you have, what's the favorite thing? What is your favorite thing that you built? Um, and if you haven't used creative mode, what is your, the favorite thing you ever built? Creative mode being what's that god mode? Um, creative mode, I think, is it's there's no monsters or anything. It's just it's just um, the mode that you can use to build, and that's pretty um. much it. I mean, you can explore it, too, but it's... I, think, most I, think I, I used it once to figure out what it is, and then I never really played on it. Yeah. Yeah, I never, I never I, used it. I was going to say, I like, the, I like feeling the ability to get blown to pieces, so creative mm -hmm. mode, I was never able to get blown out. Yeah. <laughs> unless unless you blew your... Oh, wait, you can't. Yeah, you need um the... Uh, what is it? The explosives from the creepers yep. to make dynamite. So I, I guess I can't really say you could blow yourself up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I Although you can kill yourself with lava like I did, so yeah. you can kill yourself. Uh, creative mode mm -hmm. must have been. I, I is it yeah, a newer sure. thing? Because I personally uh, didn't know about it really. Uh, I mean, I knew people worked in a mode. Um, that was more accessible, uh, mm -hmm. but I thought that was only private servers. But if, if that's just a setting in the options, you can switch it to to creative mode. I, I think, haven't done it. I think when you first start the game, um, a new game, it starts you off at like default survival mode. But I think you can actually go in and um, select creative mode as the what your world is going to be. I think there's other options. I've never done it before. I mean. I considered creative mode 
peaceful, you know, so there was nothing there. <laughs> but I think there actually is one that's like that, but I actually haven't done it yet. I was just curious if anybody, like, built a replica of, like, Lillian Tower of Pisa or something crazy like that. I've had no desire yeah. to do that. <laughs> Everything I've built in Minecraft was with the intention of being functional, purely functional, mm -hmm. but nothing artsy. Okay. I've, I've seen a lot of uh, videos of people that do um, create a uh, server, so uh, multiplayer and single player, where they build crazy things like the Starship Enterprise and um, the entire replica of the Lord of the Rings elf land. Oh, wow. Like <laughs> yeah. I mean, and my brother showed me because uh, sometimes we import into our server just weird maps of stuff people make, and they usually make it in creative mode because that way, you know, nothing bad happens. But. Yeah, they won't, you know, be trying to uh, build, you know, something, and then a creeper comes along and blows it up. Yeah. I think also in creative mode you get all the blocks. Oh, Joanna has to say something. <laughs> Creative mode was nice for exploring without monsters and imminent death being a distraction. I built cities and lighthouses and tried to build chunks of the world in Game of Thrones. Cool. Oh, oh my god. You know it would be really cool if you could have, like, that map at the beginning of the show and you could actually oh, have yeah. lighting theme parts that the could The whole Westeros, up. like... Yeah. That was really cool. Is the whole world Westeros, or is it just that one continent? Just the continent. The, the left island that they're mm -hmm. on is Westeros. And the other ones, I forgot what it's called. Uh, Do we know what the name of the whole world is? No. No, maybe you Azeroth? I bet, <laughs> I bet people who read the books probably do, but yeah. I don't know. <laughs> or maybe it doesn't have a name. I have to say, though, yeah. I, I, like, I like how Joanna has a British accent. Kinda, when she speaks, yes. So. Yeah. Yeah. What, she doesn't always have this British accent? I don't know. Well, sometimes it's different, but I like this one. This one's nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's cool. I, I want to eventually go in and actually, like, I, I don't know. I don't know if I want to make a replica of something or if I just want to just build something crazy. Just like a giant, like, castle with... A giant know. creeper. Oh, oh, oh my god. Like a wicker man, but a creeper. Yes. Or you can make it out of wood. And then, oh, oh my god, and I thought you could get some flint and, like, light it on fire. Or you fill it with dynamite. <laughs> what? Would... Or do what? Fill it with dynamite. Yes. Well, you can't in creative mode. You'd have to do it. Oh. Unless they let, give you everything. I don't think, I think they do. I think, they, I think you get all the blocks if you're in creative mode. Okay. Hmm. So do you uh, get all the materials too? Like, is it like um, gunpowder? I think creative mode is complete god control. I think you can okay. fly around. So okay, well that sounds cool. I want to make and like airplanes out of stuff. You can make um you you can make an entire computer circuit board that actually does math within creative mode. Okay. Yeah, I've actually heard of that. I've seen a couple of examples. Yeah. A bit, a bit too uh, hardcore for me. <laughs> But it worked. Yeah, apparently. That's the scary thing. <laughs> the fun thing I saw, I saw a video once, uh, was um, somebody made a an animal cannon where they used TNT and then uh, real parts and whatnot. You could stick a pig in front of the cannon and then drop TNT and it would literally just fly off the map. Just, just <laughs> oh, that is so funny. I think I've seen stuff like that. I, I like to do that with the chickens. <laughs> chickens. Because, I don't know. Chickens. <laughs> they had a kind. Yeah. That'd be fun. Making a like oh, it makes me think of a what is that game like Kitty Cannon or something? That it's flash game? game. Where no. where you shoot is it a cat? I think. Where you shoot the cat and there's like all these horrible hazards below you. Yeah. You know, kill the cat. And you have to see how far you can get it to go. Yeah. Uh, Robert, why aren't we building games where we're shooting animals somewhere? <laughs> I haven't... Did, I didn't know there was a market for it. Yeah. That's yeah there, well, I, at least there I know was, that, that that was fun for me when playing the, that kitty cannon thing. And, <laughs> yeah. I think there's a market. I think there's a market for anything that's morbid and... There is. Terrible. There is. 
there, there it has to be. Yeah. Um, so so um, we kind of went over it in the first impression, but um, what did do you guys think of the design, and um, do you wish it were different, or you, do you like it just the way it is? Um, I, I've... I've got I got lots to say about that. I don't know if anyone else has a simpler answer. Um, yes. Yes. Uh, Alan, <laughs> you go first then. <laughs> I mean, I, I like the design. It's uh, I see it as stupidly simple. So mm -hmm. it's it, it's really for for what the game is. It's fun. Mm -hmm. uh, I, don't, I don't know. Like, it's not complicated. But it's fun. Yeah, no, I I think for the most part, which is why I really can't complain. Uh, I I think I, I agree with Alan in the sense that yeah, I mean the game is simple, and it's it's successful. You know, regardless of what I think some of its shortcomings might be, it's successful and people like it, and that's ultimately what it's all about: is creating something that people will like and enjoy and continue to enjoy and talk about. Um, you know, so you certainly can't argue that the game is bad. Really, it's just a matter of opinion. Um, but some of the some of the things that um, I wasn't a huge fan of um, are, are fairly minor. Um, I would have loved to have seen the uh, the water mechanics mm -hmm. um, be a little bit more. Uh, Natural, maybe. I don't. Yeah, I don't want to say natural or realistic because the whole <laughs> game is unrealistic. But I would have liked to have seen water function. Uh, you know, the, I guess the way it works is there are source blocks, mm -hmm. um, and source blocks will produce, I believe, up to seven units of water from that source. So, uh, or at least in a horizontal position. So, if you if you were to put a water source block on top of a flat plane, it would create water that would spread out in about I think it's like seven blocks that are slowly get smaller and smaller. So it kind of creates this mound of water that keeps uh, refreshing from that center source block. Um, uh, and of course, if you have uh, it's I guess. Um, vertically, it's pretty much infinite. So if you put that block on top of something, it'll drip a, a long ways. Uh, you know, I don't know all the details exactly, but I would have. I guess I would have liked it more if I had a block of water. If I poured it on the ground, if it literally just kind of disappeared, um, yeah. or if I had uh, a waterfall, I could. Uh, or a stream, for that matter. If I could dam that area off, and it would actually, you know, change the water level uh, and flood areas, or even break something down and cause water to flow out, you know, n you know, infinitely, or at least based on the quantity of water that's being held in that body. I'm sure it has a lot to do with just the limitations of the actual game, and you know how it functions. And well, it's not terrible. The, the last one you said is possible. But, um, oh, yeah? Yeah, you can build up a, a dam full of water, and if you remove that dam or blow it up, that water will flow like a, like a raging current until it runs huh. out of the amount of blocks. Because if you put four blocks together, they create an infinite spawn, which you can continue to pull water from, but the, the, the blocks won't go away. Oh, interesting. So if you build a large lake or something, that's why you can build a lake and you can't empty the lake because the water will keep replenishing itself. So if you build a large lake with a dam, blow the dam up, that, that replenishing effect will start trickling down. And the key is having four source blocks? Four source blocks. Four source blocks set up in a, in a square, and those ones will create an... Uh, I think it's four. I think it's four, my brother said. And it creates an infinite spawn, which you can continue... The same goes for lava. It continuously replenishes itself, so you can take one of them and it will just replace that block. Oh, okay, yes. Okay, I didn't know that. So that, that does make a bit of a difference then. It's is one of that the, information on the wiki? Like, do they... Do they? I don't know oh. if it's... It's probably on the wiki. It's one of the things what I really like about this game, which is my brother's been on Minecraft since it was alpha, mm -hmm. and 
the game is run by one dude or whatever group it is now, but it's never sold out to a larger company. And he literally just, the guy creates whatever he likes for the game. And if there's something he has in the game that he doesn't like or later doesn't like, he changes it. And it's something what I like about this game, because say, for instance, you say you want the water to dissipate through sand or something. If, yeah. he change, if he likes that idea or somebody mentions that and he thinks that's a good idea, he'll build it into the game yeah. as, as an object. There's, there's small things that I want in this game, too. Like uh, I want wires that can be covered, which currently is a, a, an add-on you can add to the game. But if the guy decides that's a good idea, he will add it to the game. Or if he doesn't like it, he'll remove it from the game, which is yeah, one of the aspects I really like like about the game is that the ability that it keeps adding and changing and having little changes that are not based on corporate ideas but based on individual gameplay. Yeah, yeah, and that's de definitely something I admire is that the guys building this, uh, you know, uh, just as much for himself as he is for everyone else and that he does get uh, take a lot of feedback and I, and I, I really do dig that and, and admire that. Uh, about it, but yeah, I didn't know about the four blocks thing, um, you know, uh, yeah, and the other thing I was going to mention in terms of design that I'm not a huge fan of, but this is just personal uh, pre uh, opinion, I, I, uh, when I stopped playing it, it was largely due to the fact that I didn't have anything that uh, I wanted to do. I felt like I could keep exploring, but, you know, you can only see, uh, even though the caves are different, you just, you know, I'm exploring, I'm exploring. I never really felt like I was getting anywhere or learning anything or, uh, I guess, enriching myself through the experience at a certain point. I mean, granted, I had played for months up to that point. Um, but I guess I would have liked to have seen more, um, more objectives, more things to try to achieve. I think what have, what would really have done that for me is adding more um, uh, monsters and enemies and things that I could encounter, fight, kill, uh, capture, um, maybe even things that I can find, um, you know, just like collectibles, you know, uh, around the world, you know, relics and things that I could just kind of keep track of, you know, and if there were hundreds or thousands of little just icons that I could find, you know, uh, little, little things, it would have, I think that would have kept me going um, uh, with the game more. I think one of the things that they added recently, at least for me recently, um, is like those little, I guess, I don't know if they're achievements exactly, but it's when those yeah. little words come up and, and it gives you the bar. Oh, it's experience, isn't it? Yeah, I, yeah, I kind of like that. Yeah. I don't know what the experience actually does, but for instance, for the game yeah. wise, there there are dungeons in the game. There's four dungeons within mm -hmm. the random world generated map. There's uh, cities in the random there's four cities in, in each map you generate. There is also um, there's they recently added uh, a portal to hell where you can build a portal to the Nether where you can yeah. and explore that. But it is true that the game itself sometimes does lack an objective, at least. Objective that's not self-driven, so yeah. you do have, it, it. Does the game does quickly lead to a point where you want to take a break or you should take a break from it? Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you'll have nothing to do and get bored really fast. Yeah, mm -hmm. I feel like I go through periods of um, like binging on Minecraft, or I'll just play it for months and months and months, and then I will be like, I'm done for now until someone is interested in doing multiplayer or there's something cool that came up. Like, I'm, I'm still trying to look for the wolves. I have not found any. So I'm still looking for that. And I'm, I'm really interested now in what the, the levels are for. I don't know if that's just they just started doing that and it's going to lead to something that right? you're going to get, some kind of abilities. I don't know, uh, I don't know if you guys had ever played uh, Terraria. Um, it's a uh, Minecraft. I don't want to say clone because it's 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 two D, um, but it's inspired greatly by Minecraft. Um, but it it had a lot more enemies, a lot more objectives, and it technically had an end of the game. I mean, it wouldn't actually end, but you know there were uh, bosses that you could fight, 
and you know they were all over the world and the ability to fight these bosses were sometimes astronomically hard and so a lot of the activities that you did that were Minecraft uh, uh, like uh, added up to these encounters that you had with bosses and I would have loved to have seen that in um, in Minecraft uh, and, but you know like you said Alan there are he's always adding things and I'm sure as long as the guy stays interested it'll just keep growing and they'll be adding things but you know it's there's you know so much that can be done I do believe though that uh, you have a point that in the, the realm of games this is a game that seems to be more uh, self-driven and kind of like because it's an open-ended world it's not that um, I won't say restricted but it's stuck to a storyline based gameplay so depending on of course the user or the play or the, the person playing the game it really depends on their opinion if they want to follow a storyline like if you want to play, um, I don't know, Diablo where you have a storyline or if you want to play an open-ended world. Because it's kind of like, this is, Minecraft is the extreme side of uh, playing a game like EVE Online where there's an open-ended universe, but EVE has uh, story elements to it that you can follow, but also still kind of, it goes to that realm that you could push yourself to the point that you get kind of bored because even the stories don't really go too far. Or follow um, Diablo 3, which is, you follow the storyline until either you can't beat the game because it's too hard or you just finish it and then it's kind of like it's done. There's nothing much left to do in the game. I have spent lots of money on their marketplace. Yeah. Uh, on, on the flip side, though, uh, an, another uh, alternative, which I would have loved to have seen, and I'm, I'm sure a lot of this has to do with uh, some technology restrictions, um, only, only because of cost, but... If Minecraft was made uh, to be more like an open world MMO, you mentioned Eve. If it was, if it actually had servers, uh, dedicated servers that were not private, that that people could go to and form, you know, clans uh, and and teams and work with people or fight people. Um, and actually have features that facilitated that, that to be, would be really exciting to me, you know, because I could go on there with friends and it's like, oh, let's build our own little clan, you know, like you would not Eve, and then all of a sudden you meet up with this other clan that's 100 strong or whatever, I'm throwing numbers out there, and they're like, you can join us or be killed, you know, and that could be really fun, especially if it was a very cutthroat world, as, as cutthroat as Minecraft could be. Yeah. Um, but it'd just be kind of this exciting thing where, like, okay, sure, we'll join you, and it might be a fun experience, or no, you know, forget you, we're going to do our own thing, and then, the, you know, your little, little 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 team digs the deepest hole you can find to hide, and then, you know, you get to play this exciting game of don't get eaten by the, the, by the, the giant clan, or maybe you find the rivaling clan, and, you know, you're like, you know, hey these guys are being mean, can we ally with you? And I don't know, it just, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be a, a game. The game doesn't necessarily have to add more objectives, but maybe if you add more of the human element, um, it could add more social objectives, very much like Eve does, you know, where people are the ones that kind of build the world. With yeah. um, multiplayer, though, couldn't you sort of create that yourself? I mean, couldn't you just get a bunch of people together and say, we're going to do... I would say, I, would, I think the server itself, or the private servers, have a limited amount of users you can actually connect to it. And okay. then, uh, like Robert said, a lot of that is really based on bandwidth at that point, because if you do get a clan of 100-some people building onto a map that's infinitely big, you're, you're, gonna, you're looking into servers that run for, like EVE Online, you're looking for mass bandwidth, mass servers, so that's cost wise would become very hard mm -hmm. to maintain. Yeah. Although I wonder if you could have a server that is even just, you know, like it, I mean, I, I don't know exactly how many people were on like the World of Warcraft servers at a time or any of the MMOs, like how many they generally have on a server. I, I know it could be quite a bit, um, but I mean, even if one public Minecraft server was a hundred people, just you know that was the cap. 
I, I could see that being still a lot of fun, you know, because instead of clans maybe being as many as 100 people, it could be, you know, 5 to 10 people. Maybe the bigger clans are like 20. Um, and that still, I think, creates a pretty interesting dynamic environment. Um, I think the Minecraft idea could be applied a lot of different ways, and I'm kind of excited to see that done because like Terraria... Um, and like this other game, which I can't remember the name of, but it's very much like Minecraft, but it's more adventure-oriented. There's just a lot of stuff out there. It's, it's exciting. I think it's just a, that, that if, if you take Minecraft and have a different business model behind it, which is the, the running server end of it, because I think, at least for the, the guy that currently runs Minecraft, he could do it, but as long as mindset is set on that he just does the game for the fun of himself and then happens to spread it out to everyone else. The, the same thing goes with any MMO RPG online game. It's once you get that user base going, you gotta make sure that they do stay because if your world is run by the user uh, influence, as soon as you piss off your user base and they leave then your game kinda dies. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I, I think I think drastically changing Minecraft right now would probably not be wise, but like you said, taking that, taking the Minecraft thing and applying different business models. Um, I mean, I thought I even recall it, recalled at some point that he was going to make the code open source so other people could do things. I don't know if he's ever done that, or maybe he has, but not to a degree that people can... Uh, alter it like that, but you know, other companies are doing other things, so it's it's pretty cool. Uh, I'm not. I have to ask my brother; he know more about that than I do. But I don't. I haven't heard anything about open source from his code. I know that they try to buy the com uh, buy Minecraft all the time, like EA and the other companies, but um, he's said never to, that he's never going to sell it. So. Good. He'll he'll rather destroy the code than sell the game. I like the guy even more now. <laughs> there was a recent article saying that he doesn't, uh, Windows 8 is coming out, and they've been asking him to certify the game for the Windows 8 uh, game store, or whatever. Yeah. And he, he says he'd much rather not be compatible with Windows 8 than uh, verify it with Microsoft. But he doesn't like Microsoft. So. <laughs> he says the game will work. He, he likes open source. Oh, okay. Okay. So, and uh, what Microsoft is doing is not open source. It's basically forcing everyone to uh, uh, adhere to Microsoft standards and requirements in order to, to be part of the larger gaming community. Which is what a, 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 I think a few developers, really independent developers, don't like it because if you don't follow micro, Microsoft standards, then you don't get in their game store so that yeah. the major users don't find you. So. Yeah, people no, obviously can't use searches or whatever. Yeah, that's that stuff's crazy. Yeah. Hey, well, um, I had a few more questions, but it's almost uh, eight. I I wanted to open it up to um, you guys if there's anything else that you were interested in talking about um, with your experience with Minecraft. I figured I'd leave it to you guys. Just anything at all. Um, I don't know. I mean, I could I could ramble on more about what I would do with Minecraft as a concept, but um, I I uh, yeah, I just want to see what other people do with it. I want to see that the genre, if you will, kind of grow and uh, mature. And um, you know, I look forward to playing another Minecraft like game. So. That's that's really all I've got. I, I think it's been very interesting interesting to see the type of people who play and how they play Minecraft. Because I play Minecraft, I like to dig around, find materials, and supply stuff to people. Uh, my younger brother is like he hops on. If we ask if we need something, he hops on. He like spends five six hours and just steamrolls through an area grabs everything he needs, builds it all, drops it off, and then he's off of Minecraft for a week or two. And then Joanna, for instance, she likes to build stuff. So every time I log on, I either find a new treehouse or I find this random object built or this tower out of nowhere. 
So, and then you see the other people who go on and they build the Starship Enterprise for no apparent reason whatsoever, or they build a fully functioning computer, or they build the city of Gandalf, or whatever it's called. You know, all of Lord of the Rings. And it's interesting to see how people play the game, how much time they're willing to invest in something that doesn't give any real return outside of, I guess, their own amusement. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, you don't make any money from it. You, you're just spending a lot of time playing something, but yet people yeah. still seem to want to do it. So. And that's why I like Robert's idea of how, how you can take the Minecraft game and apply it to other genres, because it's like, yeah, those people exist that were willing to play it, so that's fun. Yeah. I like that, though. Absolutely. Well, um, I really enjoyed listening to everything you guys said. Um, thank you so much for all of your input. And uh, sorry, Joanna, for not being able to get you in person uh, with your voice and everything. But um, I like the British voice. It was pretty good. Yes, the British voice. Yes, that's very good. It was, it was <laughs> all right. It was all right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so um, that's pretty much it. Um, I I guess uh, we'll, it'll be done at 8 tonight. I was hoping to have come up with some other game for the following month to play, to do this again. Um, if you guys wanted to participate again, or I could have other people participate. I'm not sure what that'll be. Um, I It will be probably some kind of browser game that's free to play. And It'll be one of the the ones we've listed already. Yeah, there's a, a big list on the events, the event that um, I've already gathered. So um, I'll come up with something, and I'll share it with everybody. And hopefully, we can do this again uh, at the end of next month. Not not Halloween, but like a, probably like a few days before that. Um, so uh, thank you for coming and. Thank you to anyone who was watching. I think there was a couple of viewers popping in and out, I could see. So <laughs> yeah, a couple of it. viewers. Yes, we got like three at one point. It was amazing. <laughs> I'm like, yay, three people. <laughs> I don't know who they are, but there's three. Maybe it's just us um, viewing it on our side screen. <laughs> well, maybe. I didn't, actually, so I know that I'm not one of them. Um, so uh, I guess good night for now, and if anybody missed the live viewing, they can watch it on the G Plus page. And thank yeah. you, uh, Robert and Ellen and Joanna, for joining me on my first hangout, <laughs> live hangout. Thanks, Sonia. Yeah, thank you. It was fun. Mm -hmm. cool.